Today on Games Up, we will be playing Arena for the Gods, the new dice rolling and combat game designed by Maxim Ramborg and published by Yellow. Select one of the two equipment phase modes. In the normal mode, players bid on equipment cards to use for their hero using their life points. In the instant combat mode, players use the four pre-established equipment cards for their hero. Next, select a scenario to play. This will depend on the number of players. There are also special scenarios available, such as team combat and one versus all. Players first take turns placing their hero on an empty space at the edge of the arena. In turn order, players roll the seven dice for their combat phase. They may select any number of dice to re-roll once. The player then uses the symbols on the dice to carry out actions. The basic actions require two of the same symbol. The hero's equipment cards provide special actions that require different symbol combinations to activate. All actions and cards can be used as often as wanted. Damage actions. When a hero causes damage to a far away opponent, the target opponent must be in the line of sight of the hero causing the damage and may not be adjacent to that hero. When a hero causes damage to an adjacent opponent, the two heroes must be on spaces that share a border. And when damage is caused to any opponent, the hero may choose any other hero on the board to damage. Life points stay hidden over the course of the game. Further details, such as wall damage, traps, and the fountain of life, will be described during the gameplay. The game ends when one hero has lost all of their life points. The hero with the most remaining life points is the winner. We're playing the instant battle mode, where our heroes have pre-selected cards. And in the two-player game, we each control two heroes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start by putting our heroes into the battle arena. Yes, yeah. So I will start with Nakamura. Yeah, so you're a starting player, you yep. start with the mm -hmm. first. So he can hero. go into any of these um, sort of outer segments and he's going to go there. And arena is um, closed off by these columns, so I cannot put my hero now here. I really have to enter in from this yeah, side. And I also yep. cannot put them onto the traps directly. Wouldn't be very smart, right? I'm going here. Okay. My next hero is Clea, Cleo. And I'm going to put her next to Nakamura. Okay, then I also have to go here <laughs> okay, because so I don't want to be trapped in yeah, the corner. Last time the I was trapped in the corner for the whole game yeah. with Cleo. So. Yeah, and then yeah. we can now start can battling. Exactly, right away. Um, I'm going to begin fighting with my hero Nakamura. So I'll roll the seven dice. And in this game, you want to collect for basic action pairs of symbols, so like the paws are for walking, swords are for fighting. And then our heroes also each have four special cards where you can activate them with the symbols shown on the left. So we have eight possibilities. For my Nakamura, I definitely want to get within the line of sight of your hero, Sigi. So that requires me to move. So I'm definitely going to keep these two paws for mm -hmm. movement. Then I want to, hmm. And it's like in King of Tokyo or Yatsi that you can re-roll again the dice yeah. you don't like, but only once. Yeah. So I don't want swords because two swords don't bring me anything uh, from my hero card. With two swords you attack a neighboring, neighboring hero. And I don't have any, only my hero, Cleo, is a neighboring hero. So I will roll all of these again once more. Okay. So I can keep a shield. For my wet, uh, my armor, these two. Hmm. I have to think what I want to do, and I, I can move again. Interesting. Okay. You can choose in the order in which you want to activate the mm -hmm. die. Mm -hmm. So first, I'm going to move with two paws here, and I'm going to move here, getting closer to Siggy. Now I'm in Siggy's line of sight. Um, so I can activate with the shield my armor, which is Thor's um, glove. And this allows me to then activate my weapon, Cupid's bow. So I can, in the line of sight of a faraway hero, I can 
uh, make you lose one damage, so mm -hmm. I hit you with my bow. Mm -hmm. Line of sight, quickly explained, is really the, an, an orthogonal line, mm -hmm. and it's blocked by other heroes, but it also is blocked by columns. But okay. in this, in this, right now in this map, we don't have columns on the yeah, field. Yeah. Okay, so, so I lose one health from Siki. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now um, my weapon also makes you move. Yeah. So I could move you mm -hmm. onto this trap. And yes, so I lose another, another health from point because three. traps make you lose one health yeah. point. Yeah, <laughs> they're pretty spiky, right? Yeah, I can use one paw for here. So I can activate my Loki's illusion mm -hmm. and I can switch positions with any hero, hero that yeah. I want. Doesn't need to be in line of sight. So I'll switch with your guy, yeah. um, Maximus. And now I'm again in the line of sight of poor Siggy. So I can activate my Cupid's bow again mm -hmm. with these two dice and she will lose another health point. Yeah. And I move her again and I just move her back into this corner. Maybe she's stuck there. Okay. Um, and then I have another um, paw and I think I want to stay where I am, so this paw will you don't not use, be You don't used have to yet. use all of it, no. yeah. So that was my turn for Nakamura. You kind of went after Siggy, I'm sorry. <laughs> for Siggy. My first hero is Maximus. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to, of course, now to deal a ton of damage to Cleo, who is next to me, and <laughs> push you on the side, deal even more damage to have a little bit of revenge here yeah. after your stupid move. <laughs> <laughs> thought it was pretty clever. So, what is Maximus going to do? Oh, let's get it started. Okay, oh. I don't need movement. Mm. I want oh. two stars. No. Yep. My offering to Tlaloc would deal you three damage, which is already excellent. <laughs> it's already 25 Now I want to <laughs> push you somewhere. This would be even more excellent. I know I want to have more... You know, I will keep also this out, the other star, and roll again, because I want the shield. Mm. Ah, you didn't get a second. <laughs> that's okay, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, spell. Yeah, so Sorry. that's pretty good. Mm. So I already put this on the side because I cannot do anything with it. Mm -hmm. But now comes my move, and I'm pretty excited. So I will <laughs> use my two stars to damage okay. all neighboring um, um, heroes. Yeah. So my Cleo, she loses three life points, which is quite a lot. I think it wasn't a good move that I put Maximus there. That was poorly planned, but I will get revenge on you. Then, now comes my most exciting move, <laughs> Cerberus. Mm -hmm. Let me move one field, and then I push all adjacent heroes. Mm -hmm. So again, so Cleo. <laughs> Push Cleo on here and deal mm. another damage okay, onto her. She lost another life point. And now I can use my um, I use Odin's spear to damage a far away hero, which would be Nakamura. He, he loses one damage, but mm -hmm. then I also pull my spear so powerful that he <laughs> pushes you out of the border, really? which oh, loses wow. another health. Wow, that's a really powerful shield. Okay. A oh, spear, yeah, sorry. Not a shield. That was my move. I think it was pretty successful. Yeah. Good revenge. I'm feeling pretty, pretty vulnerable right now. So, okay, so Cleo is going to come and she's going to, I don't know, come and take revenge against Maximus because he needs to lose some health, I think. So, okay, I will roll my seven dice. Mm -hmm. Okay, definitely want to move closer to Maximus. Ooh, nice. So I will definitely keep some paws for movement. Mm -hmm. And I like the shield because the shield gives me a protection. Yeah. Um, but right now, your next hero would be Siggy. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take, uh, maybe, I think I'll take the shield. And then I want some sort of damage. So the question is, 
I know, maybe I don't keep the shield yeah. and I keep the star, the mm -hmm. spell, and then I reroll all of this and try to get some. Maybe damaging. something else. Um, shields and stars are only once on the die. Yeah. And, and paws and uh, swords are twice yeah, on each Yeah, exactly. Die. So I need one yeah. sword at least. And yeah. last, one last rule question, uh, one last rule is we really play until only one hero is dead. Not dead, it loses its weapon. I lose it, right, exactly. And then we count up the still the remaining health points and you can still win even though you only have one hero left. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay, so let's go for a sword so I can get Maximus. Yeah, okay. Oh, but the rest are not so <laughs> exciting. <laughs> sure. yeah, yeah. Oh, that was not as successful. So I, these three are, um, are useless because I don't have any single yes, yeah. single um, symbol cards with me, and yeah, but this is what I have to do. So I'll move one, um, just a normal movement with two paws. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move with Cleo, yeah. one step closer to yeah. Maximus, so a little bit of the danger zone, but that's okay. fine. And then with my Anubis's um, cross here. With my Anubis's Ankh, I can take one of your life points, so from okay. a neighboring hero, so from Maximus. And you get it, I'm And guessing. I get it, so mm -hmm. I'm taking from you and giving to me, so oh, mwahaha, nice. thank okay. you. So Cleo is feeling pretty good, she did some damage to Maximus, and now it's your turn again with Siggy. That's an okay round. So Siggy yeah, comes into as play. powerful as I would have liked, but... She has also, he, she has Thor's hammer, and of course she's from the... North. Yeah, she looks like. And she can Viking move a lot. Mm -hmm. But I need Whoa, stars for this. Three fields, not bad. She doesn't do a lot of damage, but she gives a lot of. Uh, she can give out a lot of exhaustion markers, which mean you can um, per marker you have to roll with one less die yeah. the next that round. Yeah, pretty damaging. You have a few of them. Oh. Okay, so here oh, I could a lot move. Of stars. Three. three. That's pretty good. And then I can give you. Two exhaustion markers. Oh, that's really not nice. And then I want to have another. I'd leave out one red, and now I need one shield. No, this would be perfect. Shield, oh, shield, oh, shield. That'd be so perfect. Uh, yeah, phew. Okay, at least I can get one um, armor then. Or I can move on. I will think about it. Yeah. So, I first want to move three. Mm -hmm. um, if you move through the... I would lose, so I don't... Yeah, I, I move, don't know I move from one, one two, yeah. three. That seems like the safer path. Yes. Yeah. And then, because you're the next, so I'm using my one star. I deal ah. you one damage. Ah, Vishnu's... Uh, curse. Curse, oh. One damage nice. to... One damage. Mm. Nakamura. To Nakamura, oh. And I get an exhaustion yeah. marker. Oh. And then another damage to you and another oh, exhaustion that's pretty marker. Evil. I didn't <laughs> like the Siggy. You're lady. lucky that I didn't have another um, <laughs> yeah. shield because you yeah. would get another one. Mm -hmm. I move with these two paws, I move on to the healing oh. fountain mm -hmm. where bad. I take one healing. Okay, so you healed. And I heal. Siggy, not bad. I need a lucky roll. I have four exhaustion markers from Silly Siggy, so I get to roll three dice, which is just really not ideal. <laughs> um, yeah, you have three dice. Thank you. Oh. Okay, let's see what you can do. Oh, okay, what do I want? I, uh, yeah. The options are limited. I need to mm. heal somehow. Perfect. I get my Anubis yeah. guy, then. and then I can't do anything. Mm. I, I can't mm. do anything with single dice with Cleo, so I will um, use my Anubis's Ankh, and I get from Maximus yeah, at yeah. least one health back. So. Good. That was a quick round. <laughs> yeah. And now, sadly, Siggy is so far away. I would want to go for Cleo now. Yeah, of course. I mean, you can move, right? A lot with Siggy. Yeah, so I need a paw and a star. <laughs> paw and a star. Okay, that's already good. So I move uh, three shields and then I can already push you and you get one damage. Ah, uh, no, no, here, I have this, of course. 
And now I just want to have even more stars. No, no stars, no stars. stars. No stars. Not uh. a damage. Also not bad. The the <sighs> good thing is um, we haven't even talked about so far. We didn't activate our armor, which also yeah. can give you uh, armor shields. If you attack, yeah. then also something triggers. But yeah. our card so far, it wasn't necessary. Yeah, so. yeah. Then I will resolve my dice now. So I'm first using my moving action because I want to come closer, of course. <laughs> so I will move over the fountain and take one health point and then I move two further mm -hmm. to come here. Then I can use my Thor's hammer <laughs> to deal you one damage and to give you <laughs> one yeah. exhaustion marker. I don't know when you, how much health you have. And then I use one normal action. <laughs> To deal your okay. one damage. You're still alive? I'm still alive! Oh ha -ha. man. <laughs> so okay. now I really need to prevent Maximus from damaging Cleo. But, but I, I'm playing right now with Nakamura and he has to figure out. I think I have to get Cleo out of there, honestly. Even if it means Nakamura going on the damage. Hmm. Okay, let's roll with Nakamura and mm -hmm. see what we can get done. I still don't know who of you has less health, so who I should damage. It's tricky. Okay, oh, I can move a lot. Okay. I definitely need to switch with, with Cleo and Nakamura. Mm -hmm. Then I want to do damage. I can activate, but then I would need to move away again. Hmm. You can also move, shoot first and then... Yeah, but no one... I have to move normally. Mm -hmm. Then I'm in the line of sight of Maximus, so I can activate this and this. Then I can maybe try... I'll just roll again. Mm -hmm. I, get... I don't think I can do anything with my star. But so first I'm going to move normally. Yes. So Nakamura is going to come here, sadly. Okay. Normally I would want to go on the life um, thing, but not in line of sight. So I can damage with my shield. Um, I can activate my weapon, so you lose one health point in my line of sight, so that's Maximus. Okay. And then I can move you. Sadly, I can't move you onto a trap, but I can move you here. Mm -hmm. Then I will switch positions with my Loki's Illusion yes, with Cleo. Yeah. You lose one health. I lose one health, sadly, from Nakamura, but I have to get Cleo out of this <laughs> situation. Then I will use my Cupid's bow again. Now Maximus is again in my line of sight, so he loses one health. And I can move him. Theoretically, I want to move him, but then he's next to Cleo. <laughs> no, I don't know where to move him. Oh, difficult. I can only move him next to Cleo, so of course I damage him, okay. and then pretty sure Cleo will likely die, maybe, or, or lose her weapons, but maybe I damage you enough yeah, that you're maybe, a little bit vulnerable, yeah. <laughs> so let's see. I okay, <laughs> good. Then let's see if I can finish the game, though. Yeah. I'm not dead yet, mid Maxilf. Okay, but maybe I got you just enough that you're weak and... Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I just need two stars, I'm guessing. And it should be over. Okay, so far, no star. I'm just rolling everything again. I think three stars should be enough. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. You're giving me three damage. Yeah. yeah maybe. Let's see. What? Ah. <laughs> oh man, this is like not, not good at all. Is one damage already enough? I don't know. Okay, then we do it differently. Hmm. I'm walking okay. with two paws mm -hmm. here. Okay. Then I push you with two shields to here. Okay. And then I throw my spear onto you, <laughs> deal you one damage, and push okay. you against the wall so you lose another health. I don't have another health. <laughs> I so was already you dead. Lose your weapon. Oh, Cleo. And the game ends then after this action. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, Cleo, I'm so sorry. I let you down. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't protect her quite enough. Yeah. yeah. It was difficult, but... But let's see. Let's see. I don't who, know how... Who has more health? I put first the health for Maximus. One. One? No! <laughs> I almost got him. <laughs> you can put your health of Nakamura. Okay, I have six. And what do you... No, Siggy is so... Why is she so healthy? I don't know. What did she... What? Come on. <laughs> I feel like I damped Ten. her a lot at the beginning. It really was maybe only four damage. I think damage. I walked three times maybe over the... No, maybe twice. Yeah, two or three times yeah. over the, the life. So, in total, I have <sighs> done... Eleven. Eleven. And I have six. Yeah. That's not so bad. I only had one hero, but... That was fun again. <laughs> yeah. It's... Very easy to play. Um, yeah, exactly. We didn't know show the auction system, but I think you you um, you bid with your life points. Yeah. So it can happen that you overbid yourself, mm -hmm. and you think we you need an, to have a lot of experience how good these cards exactly. are. Exactly. But it's nice to also just start playing right away with the preset cards, mm -hmm. and also works really well and a lot of fun. Kind yes. of like a King of Tokyo with a spatial element. Exactly. You know? mm -hmm. With King of Tokyo being one of our all-time favorite games, we were then, of course, really excited to play Arena for the Gods. And first off, we were definitely not disappointed and have fun playing the new yellow game. But let's take a closer look. The game components are very good quality, like all yellow products. The artwork on the cards is detailed and colorful, even though some of the characters are quite racy. The rulebook is clearly written and the battles in the arena are easily explained. A full game is normally split up into the auction phase and then the main battling phase. We like the idea behind the auctions where you bet your life points for armor and weapon cards, but without any experience, it's possible for people to bid too high on some of the cards. And then in this case, the game is largely decided before the fun arena match even begins. Additionally, it can also happen with experienced players that in the end you have to take a random card because everyone bid the same amount of life points and were not able to negotiate the distribution of cards. We therefore most often ignored the betting part and went straight into battling, because for us, the arena is the heart of the game and where the fun and excitement lies. A very positive point is that Arena for the Gods lets you design your arena and pick a scenario that best fits your group. Through adjusting the arena setup, you can control the length of a game. As soon as you enter the arena, you can feel the sand under your feet, and you can really imagine smashing and pushing your opponents into traps or against walls. With the health points being hidden behind each player's screen, it's more difficult to decide which hero to focus on to end the game quickly. And here, the game ends immediately when one hero has been defeated, and thus no player has to wait while the others continue playing because of player elimination. Of course, you can still play a last man standing match if that's the way you prefer to play. Even without player elimination, Arena for the Gods can feel unfair. If other players want to end the game quickly, and they realize that your hero might be the most vulnerable one, the damage can come quite swiftly without you having a chance to protect yourself. So it's possible that one hero is targeted and quickly destroyed by the rest of the group. In Arena for the Gods, you will be attacked. There's nowhere to hide indefinitely, and there are not many ways to prevent being attacked at some point. If you don't like passive players, Arena for the Gods definitely does not support long-term passive tactics. The fights can feel static, there are numerous different weapon card sets which allow you to always play with a different specialized hero, but then this initial setup doesn't change over the course of the game. You don't get stronger or you don't acquire different abilities or weapons, and then every one of your turns is often structured similarly. You position yourself optimally, then engage and use your most powerful weapon against the targeted opponent. Overall, we enjoyed Arena for the Gods, and we find it to be a solid, fun game. But still, for us, the fights could feel slightly more dynamic and flexible, and the auction system could be more easily implemented. At its core, Arena for the Gods is a fun brawler, which does not take itself too seriously, and in which a decent amount of luck is needed. It can definitely lead to some great battle moments. 
we would recommend Arena for the Gods to people who enjoy fun brawlers like King of Tokyo and are now looking for a similar game that adds an interesting spatial aspect to the combat. Thank you for watching our Arena for the Gods video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please feel free to subscribe, like, or comment below. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching Games Up. Up. See, See you next time. time.